Taking a screenshot on your Android device is a quick and easy way to store information that you otherwise wouldn't be able to recall. For example, maybe you want to store a recipe that you just found online or on Pinterest and you don't want to lose it. Or maybe there's a text conversation that you need to keep for your records. I'm Jason Cipriani and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot on your Android device. The good news about taking a screenshot on an Android device, whether it's a Pixel, a Motorola device, or even a Samsung device, is that the core screenshot method, the base screenshot method, is identical across all of them. And it's very simple. It is as simple as pressing the sleep wake or the power button, uh, whatever you want to call it, as well as the volume down button. On a Pixel device, you have to hold the buttons in at the same time for a split second. You, don't, you can't just press and release, they don't take a screenshot. However, on a Samsung device, you have to just press and release because if you hold the buttons in, it actually brings up the power menu, which allows you to restart or turn off the phone itself. It's a little confusing, but the core of the screenshot method is simple. Do it again real quick, and that's all you need. When you do that, you actually see screen flash and a thumbnail shows up at the bottom of the screen letting you know the screenshot has been taken and then also gives you some options on what you want to do with it. Speaking of options, one of the options you'll see in the toolbar when you take a screenshot is the option to take a scrolling screenshot for lack of a better term. So like on a pixel device you take the screenshot and then there's an option here that says capture more. You tap on that and you get a very long zoomed out version of the web page or text conversation that you're currently in that you could then move the handles around on the crop tool to adjust how much of the web page or how much of the conversation you want to capture. It's easy, simple to use, and when you're done you just tap save and it's saved. However, on devices like the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and for that matter the rest of the S22 or Galaxy devices, you'll have the toolbar show up at the bottom. Too quick there. You have the toolbar show up at the bottom. Then there's a down arrow that shows up as well. And that is what enables the scrolling screenshot. So you tap that, the device scrolls a little bit and it gives you a large, longer thumbnail as you scroll. When you're done, you, you could just wait, it'll time out and disappear off your screen, save it to your device. As you just saw, I had three devices here, three different approaches to taking scrolling screenshots. So there's not always one way to skin the cat, for lack of a better term, here uh, as far as taking screenshots on devices. And I haven't even shown you all the ways to take a screenshot on these devices. For example, on a Samsung device that has an S Pen, as this S22 Ultra does, when you remove the S Pen from the tray, it instantly asks if you want to take a screenshot. That's another method. There's a gesture built in to the S22 or Galaxy devices in general where you swipe your palm across the screen of the device, the edge of your palm across the screen of the device, and that takes a screenshot. I have had horrible luck over the years getting that gesture to work, but who knows, maybe it'll work for you. You can try it, it's on by default, at least it is on this device here. If you want to turn it off though, you can go to the settings app, use the search bar, search for screenshot, and it'll take you to that gesture. At least it'll be one of the results and you can turn it off. Motorola devices have gestures as well for screenshots. It includes a three finger swipe down, which I, I can't get to work. It's, it's enabled on this device. I just, I can't get it to work. Again, you want to turn it off, you want to turn it on, give it a try, go into the settings app, search screenshot, and you'll be taken to one of the options. We'll take you to how to enable or disable the three finger swipe gesture for screenshots. After you've taken a screenshot, the question is, okay, where do I find it? That thumbnail was there and you made it easy to share. Tap on the share button, send it, and then it disappears. But if you take a bunch of screenshots and then you want to go share them later on, where do you find them? Well, that depends, as with everything else in this video, based on who makes your Android device. 
for anything that comes with the Google Photos app, Azure Gallery app, which the Pixel and Motorola I have here, um, that's what they default to. You'll need to go into the Photos app. You'll need to go to Library and then select Screenshots where you can view then all the screenshots you've taken on that device. There'll be a toggle there that you can able to turn on uploading or auto uploading. Once you do that, they'll be under the main Photos tab, which is where they should be in the first place, but they're not. So it takes you a little bit of work to find them originally, but once you turn that on, they're really simple to find. On a Samsung device, which has the Photos app installed, but is not the default Photos app for Samsung devices, that app is called Gallery. What you'll do is open the Gallery app. On the phone, you'll then go to Albums, and then Screenshots, where all of your screenshots will be. Or if you've recently taken these, they'll be at the top of the pictures album, the main pictures feed that the app opens up to. So you don't have to dig around to find them. So this was a really long video about something that was very simple in taking screenshots on your Android device, but there's some nuance there that I think is worth covering and worth pointing out. I'm Jason Cipriani. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech tips just like this one, as well as all the latest tech news and reviews.